I've got a nice gadget for you. Chrono goggles. They allow you to see through time and space. Even having them on your head will let you see persons or items from other time periods. If you spot something or someone who doesn't belong to this time period, put the goggles on. This allows you to help correct any time slips you encounter. The goggles consume insane amounts of energy, so you can only keep them on for a short period of time and only use them a limited number of times. Good luck, Chrono Spotting! In your bag, you can see which items you have gathered. Than four fiery kite pies on this beach. How can you stand it? While we set up camp, I need you to run up to the village and inform the African chief that we have arrived. Be sure to bring a gift. Bring him the set of knives from that pile of merchandise over there. trading post where Europeans and Africans meet and deal with slaves. <laughs> Rumor had it that a black man was traveling with the weapon dealers. I see it was a boy, not a man. Do you have a name? <laughs> the irony! A little slave helping the whites to purchase slaves like himself. Strange times. Don't help the whites more than you can help. They are strange people with strange customs. Don't trust them. Make deals that benefit us instead. Try your chrono goggles. If you see an item that doesn't belong in this time, you can click it and correct the time slip up. I pity the fool who messes with Chief Chanto. Interesting. I'm surprised to see one of our own representing the White Devils. Whatever. I'm here to sell slaves. I'm a merchant, you see. Now, let's see. Are you ready to inspect the slaves? Oh, how very nice. I see your White Masters have manners. Very good. So, what do you bring? Ah, thank you. I accept your gift. Go tell your master I look very much forward to meeting him at noon tomorrow. I've ordered my men to bring a couple of our finest slaves to the square. You and your masters are free to inspect them all. 
I will see you and your master tomorrow. In a cage on the beach, I suddenly saw a face I hadn't seen in many years, but there was no doubt in my heart. It was my sister behind the bars. Hello, Tim. It must be fascinating for you to be back in Africa. I will surely get to do some research down here for the Royal Academy in London. Hootage? Brother, I thought you were dead. I thought I'd never see you again when they dragged you from the village. The Akka warriors came back again, and this time I didn't escape. It's a long story, but you are here now. That gives me hope that we might get out of this mess together. We might need the help of others. I will show the other slaves that there's hope. From our prison, I can see a pretty flower. I can just reach it with a forked stick I found, but I need something to make the flower stick once I've plucked it from the tree. Great work, big brother! I didn't raise my hopes in vain. Tonight, I will pluck the flower and bear it as a symbol of hope. Hope of getting out of this horrible situation together. Now go, brother, and remember that we can't show anyone that we know each other. I'll wait for nightfall, and you must go back to the Weiss to avoid arousing any suspicion. Sometimes you need to take two items from your bag and combine them to make a new tool you can use. The flower is the symbol of hope. Catch a good night's sleep on the palm leaves. You've earned it. I spy with my little eye something beginning with H. Exactly. That was a good guess. I think there's hope. <laughs> you did a good job picking that flower. You deserve to rest on the green bed. They're selling us to the white men. Do you think they'll eat us? How do you know? I've heard many stories about the white cannibals from the sea. And they haven't eaten him yet. Maybe it's because he's still a boy. Not enough meat on him yet. <laughs> 